All right, so now that we've gone over um, kind of using the Pythagorean theorem, let's do a problem where we're going to have to um, tap into it and, uh, and use it, okay? So they're giving us sine of B, all right? Now I'm going to put this in parentheses, equals 5 over 8, okay? It says find the exact value of the remaining trigonometric functions for B. So in order to do that, I need to know what all the sides of the triangle are. So if we... If we decide to draw, you know, a triangle, right? So we'll put a line here, we'll do a line here, and we'll do a line here. All right. And we'll call this, um, we'll call this over here, right? We'll call this corner B, all right? And then it's, uh, it, it doesn't really matter what we use. Um, and then we'll call this, uh, we'll just call this A and C. All right, this is my right angle. This is my hypotenuse, right? B is gonna be our angle that we're referencing for everything, so that's my theta, so theta is B, right? So uh, that means that this is the opposite of B and that this is the adjacent side to B, all right? So these are my sides. And I know it's sine, and sine is always the opposite over the hypotenuse. So I got two of my angle measures. So this is five, and then this is eight. And so I just need to kind of figure out what's that side gonna be. Well, let's use our Pythagorean theorem, right? I know that this side squared plus this side squared equals this side squared, right? The two legs squared and added up equals the hypotenuse squared. So we're gonna have five squared plus and then we'll just say BC squared, okay, is going to be equal to eight squared. All right, so five squared is 25, we still have BC squared, okay, and then um, is equal to 64, these are adding. Um, so now let's subtract 25 from both sides. That's going to give me 39 is equal to BC squared. And then to get rid of that, we uh, take the square root, right? So we're gonna get the length of BC, which is this adjacent side, is equal to the square root of 39 because this cannot be simplified anymore. It is, um, it, you know, if you think about what your square numbers are that you could pull out like four, nine, 16, 25, or 36, obviously you can't go more than that number. Um, none of these go into it, you know, cleanly or, or yeah. So, I can't, I can't really simplify this. This is, uh, this is in simple form. So this adjacent side where we have our, um, where we have our, or had <laughs> our question mark, we are gonna put in the square root of 39. And now we got all our angle measures, or uh, sorry, all our side measures. So when we do cosine of B now, cause we're gonna keep going, um, remember SOHCAHTOA, so CA, so cosine, is adjacent over the hypotenuse, all right? Well, the adjacent side is the one we just found, so that's square root of 39, and the hypotenuse is eight. And, you know, so far this fits in our pattern of it is greater than one, right? That's what we're always looking for, you know, or less than one. Um, and then when we do tangent, tangent of B is going to be equal to the opposite over the adjacent side, right? opposite over adjacent. So you're going to have eight um, or five, right? Opposite five over my adjacent side, which is square root of 39. And uh, we can't leave this like this. We have to, uh, we have to rationalize the denominator. It can't have a square root in there. So multiply this times whatever that is to get rid of it. And you get five times the square root of 39, which is going to be like something between 30 and 35 all over 39 so it will uh it will be um it will fall in that less than one category that we like and now when we think about our reciprocal function so we got the cosecant of b and remember cosecant is the reciprocal of sine so basically just take your sine and just flip it right so you get eight that's secant is the reciprocal of cosine and it's hypotenuse over adjacent, right? So it's gonna be eight 
over the square root of 39, and we have to do what we did here for tangent to rationalize it. All right, so that will give me eight times the square root of 39 all over 39, because when you multiply the square root times itself, remember that kind of gets rid of it. And then your, ta your, uh, your cotangent, right? Cotangent of B is going to be the, op the, uh, the reciprocal. I always want to call it opposite, but it's not the opposite. It's the reciprocal. So it's the adjacent over the opposite. So adjacent over the opposite, which is square root of 39 divided by five. And all of these, eight fifths, eight times square root of 39 over 39 and the square root of 39 divided by five are all going to give you answers that are greater than one. Um, these will all be less than one. These will all be greater than one. And so it kind of fits into, you know, our mode of what we're trying to do here. So that's, uh, that's how you do one of these problems when they don't give you all the side lengths, but they give you enough information where you can do a little razzle dazzle with the Pythagorean theorem. And so um, I hope, hope this has been helpful to you and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the homework video, the homework help video. All right.